Well, let's take a tour of the LCD demo LabVIEW project. This is the one that's based on I2C serial communication. Here's the PMOD CLS LCD character display. I've got this connected up to the I2C bus on connector B. VI is running and it's displaying the three values from the onboard accelerometer. Let me try flipping my MyRio upside down so you can see a change in the Z value. I shouldn't be able to get it to negative 1G. I'm flipping it around back to the original orientation. Should be able to get this back up to around plus 1G again. There's also a button available as an onboard device for MyRio. Let me flip that back and forth a few times. And let's go ahead and break out of this and start taking a look at the block diagram. Here's the accelerometer. It's formatted into a string for local display here. And then I also send that out to the LCD character display via I2C. Have a little bit of initialization that happens right here. The MyRio I2C Express VI has relatively few setup requirements. You can pick which connector you want. You can then specify the mode as either write, read, or write, write read. You can also specify two different frequencies for the serial clock. Every I2C bus peripheral needs to have an address, and this is the address for the PMOD CLS. I'll point out that I'm using hexadecimal display, and then I also have the show radix option turned on. And that creates the little x in front of 48. So 48 hexadecimal is the address of the display. We then specify the array of bytes to write out, and I'm translating from a string into that byte array, just for convenience. Here's where the string to byte array is located. Now I have two commands that I'm sending out to configure the display. Let me switch to normal display temporarily. Here you see that it's an escape followed by a left square bracket and then a command. Here you can also visualize the escape using the backslash codes. Finally, you could just display the whole works in hexadecimal if that's more convenient. I'll take a moment to show you where these onboard devices are located. Go to the MyRio palette, look for onboard, here's the accelerometer, and the button. Now all of these values are collected together into format into string. This is a built-in sub-VI that's located under the string palette. If you look carefully at the format string up here, we can certainly recognize things like the X and Y and Z and so forth. And inside this string, you use a percent symbol to insert a variable parameter. So for example, percent 5.2F would be the X. There's the Y. Percent D is for an integer value right here. 5.2 specifically says allocate five characters with two characters after the decimal point. Now the boolean from the button can be converted converted to a numerical value this way using boolean 210. Now that formatted string is sent out to our character display. Uh, clearly we need to use the same address as before. Finally, let's take a look at the air cluster working its way through the system. Here I OR that with the stop button back on the front panel. Therefore, either an air condition or the stop button will break out of the loop, pass through the air handler, and then execute a MyRio reset. And finally up here, I'm pacing the loop at 200 milliseconds per loop pass.